Earthquake. Well, it's been Earthquake, and this morning we are luck lucky enough to have sustainability coordinator from Bowling Green State University with us, Dr. Nick Hennessy, to tell us more about the university's efforts, what they were doing throughout the week on Earth Day, what they're doing right now, and then how we can continue on in the future. First off, good morning, and thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thank now, you. You're welcome. You guys have had a really big week there this week, highlighting Earth Week and Earth Day, which was Wednesday, if I'm right. It was. Yesterday was Earth Day, but uh, we at BGSU treat it as, as a week's celebration, mm -hmm. so we've had events every single day. And some of those events included, and this was all, of course, to expand on the education there for the students, but what all did that include for them? Well, I, I guess we have a, a number of different things that we do, not just education, but, you know, we celebrate the Earth as well, so you know, we have fun activities as well as learning activities, uh, and then everything in between. So we started off... Uh, you know, on Monday we did a fun scavenger hunt, mm -hmm. eco scavenger hunt, which is actually still going on uh, to kind of encourage our students to get downtown and support local businesses. Okay. Uh, Tuesday we had a speaker who talked about uh, mountaintop removal mining. That was Tuesday evening and there was good attendance on that. Nice. Uh, actually on, on, on Wednesday, which was... Uh, uh, actually Wednesday, Wednesday was actually Earth Day. Sorry, I made That's a okay. mistake on that. But, uh, Wednesday, the actual Earth Day, we had our Eco Fair, which we do every year, where we uh, get a lot of different environmental organizations and the parks and uh, other uh, departments from on campus all together mm -hmm. uh, outside, and it was rather cold. And you do Wednesday. see some of the pictures now uh, coming up. Did they plant a tree this time around? That actually was earlier in the week also. Okay. That, that took place uh, uh, on Tuesday, and that was our tree planting. Uh, undergraduate student government sponsored that, so we planted a, what will eventually be a mighty oak on campus. Very on nice. Day. And what else, as they're learning, I know we were just discussing before we came um, back from John, that typically you have the Earth Day, you have Earth Week, but then you tend to forget. How do you keep this momentum up, keep it going? Yeah, that's a really good question uh, because, you know, you like to think that Earth Day is every day. So there's a lot of things that we can pick up and learn from that. A lot of them uh, kind of revolve around the simple mantra of reduce, reuse, recycle. So. Uh, we can every day do things to reduce the energy we use, mm -hmm. reduce the trash that we produce, uh, recycle the things that we can't. Uh, you know, it, everything revolves around that, you know, and, and in doing so, we'll reduce our eco footprint, so to speak, and, and uh, it will be celebrating Earth Day every day. Now, did you happen to have any community members come out, not just the students, but those from the area communities? Oh, yeah. Uh, we advertise all of our events to the entire community. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're unified in that respect so you know we ask for for them to attend and you know there's no charge for any of our events so that continues for the events for the rest of the week and right. certainly for sunday's big event in the in the bg community the community earth day celebration mm -hmm. The university is a big part of that as well, and that's a Sunday afternoon. Well, fantastic. Well, you're not going anywhere quite yet. At 6.30, during our 6.30 half hour, we're going to continue on to talk about keeping this momentum up, more about Sunday's event coming up, what you can see over the weekend there in Bowling Green. So thanks so much, and we'll be back this morning. We have more on Earth Week. And luckily for us, we do have sustainability coordinator at Bowling Green State University. We have Dr. Nick Hennessy with us to tell us more about what the university is doing and then how we can keep this momentum up. And you said we have the three R's that we can use. Right. <clears throat> Reduce, reuse, recycle is kind of the mantra that we use in our environmental, environmental studies classes on campus. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a, a common thing. I know that uh, they introduce that as early as, you know, kindergarten uh, to, to kids these, these days and, and continue with that because it's it seems basic, but actually so many of the things that you can do to protect the environment do flow from those three things. And you know, it's not just recycling, as you were just mentioning to me, though most of us, that's what we tend to do, but it can go far beyond that. Absolutely. I think that uh, really, in, in, even in terms of priority, we might look at, at uh, reduce, reuse, recycle in that order. You know, we can reduce, we can reduce what we use as far as energy. We can turn off lights. We can walk instead of drive. We can carpool. Uh, we can reduce the waste that we create by not using disposables uh, and, and, and using reusable shopping bags and things of that sort. You know, think of how many of those things stack up. And then, you know, you're using less resources to begin with of the Earth's resources. And then what you can't uh, reduce and reuse, 
you can recycle, you know, and, th and that's readily available as well. I know on our campus we make that a very big deal. Well, I know a lot of schools here locally are doing that same thing, and it starts with the younger generation, you know, for them to keep this going throughout the year. So parents to go ahead and start implementing this now, is that, I mean, I'm guessing that's a really good idea. Absolutely. Uh, you know, there, there's so many opportunities, you know, to, to start at a young age with, with learning things about reduce, reuse, recycle, and, and you see it. You know, on TV shows, you, you know, there's a lot of websites that make that readily available. So, you know, I would encourage everybody, you know, as, as far as, you know, Earth, Earth Day is a great thing to, to celebrate and, and go to activities and things. But if you can find an activity to go to uh, throughout the year, if you can find a website, a TV show, you know, educational programming, anything of that sort, take a class, go to the park. You know, there's so many educational opportunities offered through the various park systems to do that as well to keep it going. That's not a bad idea. A fun family event. You know what I mean? Something to do with your family and your loved ones to learn more about how to make sure that you're taking care of Mother Earth. Now you guys have something else coming up this Saturday. You guys have an Earth Day run? We do. It's called the Green Fund Run and that's tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we, we hope that the weather will co cooperate with Fingers us crossed. on that day. <laughs> but that does kick off at 10 o'clock from Memorial Hall on campus and, and registration is still possible uh, right before the event. So show up. It is a USTA certified event as well for those who may be into competitive running. So okay. either way, you can run, walk, have fun. Uh, they'll be educational, talking about education, educational tips. Uh, and things about keeping Earth Week going posted along the, the run route, they'd be able to read as you go along and then a big event afterwards with food and, and uh, environmental displays. Fantastic. Well, again, thank you for joining us this morning. I know I'm taking away a lot of good tips. Hopefully our viewers are as well. I'm sure they are, no doubt about it. So we appreciate you coming. Thank Thanks you for so having much. Me. Look I forward to having it. you back again. Well, your time right now.